We are going to come against the spirit of fear. In this video, we're going to expose how to overcome the spirit of fear if you are dealing dealing with the spirit of fear in your life. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, it says, "For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind." I also want to read right now from 1 John chapter 4 verse 18. And it says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears punishment has not been perfected in love. I want to touch on that last part of that verse where it says, the one who fears punishment has not been perfected in love. So if you are dealing with fear, if you can look at your life and you can say, where am I not trusting God? I want you to change the perspective. Where am I not allowing God to love me in this area of my life? Fear, we see it come across mighty men of God over and over again. For the first example that I want to touch on is Elijah. After Elijah had this amazing encounter with God, this amazing move of God's power through him, being able to call down fire from heaven to light a damp altar on fire and then to also take out many prophets of Baal. What we see is that as he received a letter of Jezebel, there was fear that overtook him that made him depart, that made him run away, that caused him to go into a mindset of depression to where then there was an angel of the Lord that had to come and minister to Elijah. Another example of how we see fear that comes into men of God in the Bible is when Saul was told by Samuel that God has, that God has taken his hand away from Saul. So what did Saul go and do? Saul went and sought out a median to go and bring Samuel back to life to be able to have this experience with him so that he may know what to do to get back into the will of God. So these are two instances where fear was able to enter mighty man of God. So this is what I want to touch on really quick is that it doesn't matter who you are, what position you're in. There's only one person who didn't deal with fear and that was Jesus Christ. And so in this video, we are going to talk about how to expose fear that may be operating in your life. And so if you are dealing with rejection, if you're dealing with anxiety, this could be different areas where you're not trusting God fully in your life. Anywhere you're not trusting God fully in your life, there is fear attached to it. There is rejection. There is fear rejection. That fear may be so consuming you to the point to where it is not even allowing you to create friendships because you're a fear of being rejected by those potential friends. Fear also drives us to isolation. This is another aspect that can be in instance in social environments but also work environments. Now if you don't work independently in an isolated manner already, this can really be a hindrance to your work life. If you are so fearful that your coworkers are going to reject you or say certain things of you, that this may hinder your opportunity to even grow as a professional in your career. But another thing I want to touch on is anxiety. One thing we know about anxiety is it is rooted in fear because anxiety is you stressing out about something that you have not released to God. Anxiety is where you're not trusting God in and not asking for God's peace to come over you. Another verse I want to mention is Philippians 4, 7, which says, For the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And as you look specifically in the Greek translation for the word guard, it says to stand on guard as if the peace of God is standing on guard, protecting your heart and your mind. But we have to allow and invite the peace of God to be that guard, that soldier, that warrior in our life. And so if you are dealing with, over, with consuming, overwhelming fear, 
fear that drives you to isolation that drives you that drives anxiety all overwhelms you with anxiety that almost causes you to have panic attacks if you have the fear rejection that isn't allowing you to make friends to grow deep roots in friendships that may be preventing you from being honest and vulnerable transparent with your friends i want to pray with you right now god i come before you right now in jesus name breaking off every single root god as it says in first john 4 18 lord that we can be made perfect in your love god wherever we may not be made perfect in your love god i ask lord that we invite your love in to come against fear god we know that you have not given us a spirit of fear but you've given us a spirit of power and love and a sound mind god we decree and declare freedom over the spirit of fear in jesus mighty name god bless you